Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jan and uh, in this video I'm going to show you my um, trading system which I use to trade Forex. Um, if you watched the previous video, uh, you know that I've been trading Forex for quite a while and uh, I use the system also for um, quite a long time now. And um, so I want to just, uh, before I will do it, I want to tell you that uh, of course the system works for me. There is no guarantee, I cannot uh, give you 100% um, guarantee that uh, you will definitely make money. So you might make money, you might not. Um, but it works for me and I'll show you what exactly I do. And of course you can copy and do exactly the same uh, as me. Well, uh, first of all, we'll start uh, with... Um, if you are just a beginner and you know probably that you need, um, of course, open account with the brokerage. So you have to choose a brokerage you're going to trade with. And uh, I want to um, show you a little bit um, brokerage which is called Talinex. They're quite new in the market and I am just uh, want to make sure for you that uh, I am not sponsored by this brokerage. I have nothing to do with them. Uh, I only trade uh, with this brokerage and yes, I am a referral to this brokerage because I've been trading for quite a while and um, I have no problems with them at all. All my trades um, are going quite nicely and smooth. So I uh, like this brokerage right now and they're quite new. I like new brokerages. Um, so well, we'll see what is going to be in the future. But at this moment, I'm happy with them. That's why I'm going to um, show you uh, all uh, my trades on uh, this uh, brokerage and recommend this brokerage to you. Uh, because, uh, well, first of all, it's very important uh, when you choose the brokerage, um, any brokerage, uh, you kind of need to know that they will not trade against you because some brokerages um, will use their own money to trade against the clients and this system might not work because they uh, can stretch the spread and they can offer you their own price and uh, you might not go into the profitable um, trade or might not uh, go out in time. So um, you have to make sure that they do not trade against you. Um, so while I can't believe Talinex does not do that because I didn't have any problems with them for all this time I've been trading with them. Uh, also I trust them because it's a European brokerage and if you're in America they actually accept American clients. And um, uh, so how to understand um, if they are um, trading against you or not? I kind of can't tell you 100% but uh, with uh, Talinex if you can see we open an account with uh, Micra and uh, they offer um, a spread is two pips which is on euro usd well i guess uh, if the pips are less than two pips or like one pip or 0 0.5 or even smaller then you kind of might uh, ask yourself is there really um, trading um, against you or not well this one is like two pips so i kind of show that they don't because i never had problems with them all the trades are going right if you're the first time to the for, um, to Forex um, a beginner, so I would recommend to you to have a look at this online education center. Uh, free videos which you can um, uh, learn quite a lot uh, about Forex, how to open position, close positions and all uh, uh, like, like leverage will explain to you everything. I'm not going to do that. Uh, all I'm going to do is just to show you this actually system. So what do you... Uh, do is you open account you can open um, live account and of course um, provide your um, ID documents uh, and you, your address and then you can uh, send the money uh, and um, start to trade so you can try on demo account uh, it's up to you you can do whatever you wish but you know that uh, usually uh, demo accounts you are kind of normally you are like scared or anything else so that's why I how I started it of course I tried with demo accounts first and then I was um, trading real accounts um, so um, when you will um, open your account uh, you would have to download MetaTrader 4 and you can see uh, the this that's what it lo would look like on um, the screen except I have quite a lot of lines here which don't look at those lines yet but um, you need MetaTrader 4 and um, so you can see the candles uh, just before that I want to show you the statements uh, I uh, used um, it's independent site which called uh, Metro Rocket if you will just put uh, my address like Jang Gold Metro um, 
mtrocket.com, uh, then you can see uh, my statement. I put it um, specially here, so uh, you would see that um, uh, actually I do trade for real. So you can see uh, they verified my account and it's verified as a real account statement. So um, if you would have a look uh, at this statement, you would see that I've been trading a uh, few times in November and already at the beginning of December. Um, yes, I do not trade every day because I do actually travel. You know that I have a travel channel. And yes, I do travel and that's why trading is um, with this system is kind of like an additional uh, earnings for me. And um, I put $1,000 um, here and just to show it um, to you guys that actually system really, really works because uh, if you can see here is a profit, I don't have any losing trades. But I'm saying to you, there is no guarantee that you will not have any losing trades because you never know. It's like this month, November was a perfect month. Beginning of December is also perfect. The other months I've been trading, they work also very good. In some months you might have, um, I have like maybe one uh, trade which will be minus so maximum tr uh, two I had. But most of the months I didn't have any losing trades, honestly. Um, and you can see in November, actually, if I would have trade every day in November, uh, I would have made much more money than I made. But I'm traveling and I can't do it every single day. So um, as you can see, I put $1,000 and um, uh, I've been using a uh, lot, one lot, and um, one lot is about $10. Um, I'm going to be honest uh, with you that it is a lot. I've been um, uh, risking a lot um, from my account so roughly it's about 30% of the account I've been risking to make just 10 um, pips profit yes so if you are starting with my system please do not do that start with a um, little risk do not risk more than 10% I kind of sure with my um, system and I've been trading for a while so I'm kind of a little bit more confident that's why I uh, was risking a lot and I risked uh, my real thousand dollars and um, risking with one lot. Uh, I kind of made, uh, as you can see, 107 pips I made. Um, well, roughly, let's say it's a month because as you can see, it's beginning of uh, uh, November, but only a few trades I made and um, beginning of December. Uh, the last one you can see right now. Um, uh, but uh, this would be doubled that 100 pips I made it would be double because actually if you would look at the calendar um, we have um, uh, five a full five days of trading a week so we have one two three four weeks well we have now like two days but let's say it's four full weeks and I make usually about 10 pips a day and that would make you about 200 pips so plus it could be if you trade some news, I put more than 10 pips profit and it could be uh, extra maybe 60 pips. So it's about uh, 200 up to about um, 300 pips you can make with this system. So if you want to check by yourself, uh, here is the site. You can see all my um, trades there and you can see that I deposited $1,000 and um, profit is 1073 Now I have $2,073 on my account and um, uh, right now let's go back to Tallinn next MetaTrader 4 and here is what uh, I do the system if you already been trading on Forex you probably know that system I don't know how the um, professional traders call it I call it um, uh, the system uh, channel system so we are looking for the channels uh, if you would look at the um, charts the market moves um, it moves up and down right and again it moves um, down and up and again it moves down and up so between these moves as you can see we have um, quiet uh, channels for example where the candles are going into the straight line and you can see it's happening mostly all the time between the moves you can see again the channel and they see the move and this is little channel here a little bit more here and again we have a move and another channel and um, another channel so we're kind of looking for those kind of channels and um, so I'm gonna uh, show you on this example so ready um, this December I've been trading 
uh, well, let's stop on the 4th of December. Uh, here, um, it's a very good examples. They are just perfect. So, here, um, okay, this is the 5th December. That's the 4th December. That's, that's the 4th December. Let's do 5th December. It's already like um, made. So, we're looking for the perfect channel, right? Um, so, look, the green candles, the candles, we, the price going up, and red candles, I made it. You can do your colors wherever you want. Uh, the candles which going down. So, um, so I'm finding the kind of channel and what I do is I'm placing one if you would look just line Yeah, so I'm putting one line on top of the candles and the other line on the bottom of the candles just like that So here is my channel as you can see all the candles inside that channel uh, So I'm, yes, I'm looking for like uh, the majority of the channels you see is like the top here a little bit top of here That's why I draw the line over here not around this area but here and also uh, there is a bottom here but uh, these channels come down a bit more and that's uh, that's this candles that's why I draw this line um, the bottom of this candle so we're looking and drawing the um, channels uh, the lines uh, on the bodies of the candles so we do not do it for example I'm going to show you like this you see this the, the strikey ones no we have to look for the bodies of the candles um, forgot to tell you, yes, I trade on Euro USD and it's a 15 minute chart. I do not use any other, uh, not 5 minutes or 30 in an hour, except we do actually wait for a few hours for the market to move. But I draw my channels on the 15 minute charts. But I do look quite a few hours um, behind to make the channel. So um, after I'm, I'll tell you how to look for this kind of channels but what I do afterwards um, I draw the lines uh, it's 20 pips above and 20 pips below and make pending orders and uh, the pending order buy and pending order sell and also I'm uh, placing the order uh, 10 pips lower of my uh, buying or selling price let just me show you on this example here is already a bit better drawn it just like this this also on the 5th of uh, November uh, so you can see again in our channel and it's look 20 pips down it's the price uh, 13641 I would have been selling and 10 pips I'm looking only for 10 pips which is 13631 which is going to be our take profit and also I put from the um, selling price as 3641 uh, 30 pips above and that's going to be our stop loss just in case if uh, there is something going wrong so um, we will not lose all our accounts so uh, that's why I have to put the stop loss uh, yes I'm going for just 10 pips because um, it looks like it's working quite well and um, you can use that system trying to catch a bit bigger moves then you have to change it a little bit so it's it's a different story and I'm not going to tell about it but you can you can manipulate the system but um, this particular system is exactly have to catch only 10 pips so we don't need market to move a lot that's why this system uh, works quite well and um, we don't have to go into minus to make a profit because uh, if you will try to catch the longer movements you might would have to go into the minus first uh, before you're going to make a profit but you might catch more pips but here is we are uh, it's kind of like betting where we are betting just to get 10 pips and that's kind of working quite well uh, this system um, so um, how we doing the orders I will show you the real uh, real order uh, I recorded it when I was making real uh, trading trade and I will show it to you and explain what I was doing then but if you can if you would look uh, see what happened so um, uh, so this trade I'm showing to you it was on 6th of um, December what I was doing so um, uh, usually when I'm right now I'm in the US and um, November I was trading I was in Canada about the same time so what I do I did I was looking at the uh, chart uh, sometime I'm looking at night about 10 o'clock in the evening um, I don't know 10 o'clock 
8 o'clock American time. Here is we have uh, English time. Um, so, um, so when we are here in America, it's like night. It's not even a new day, but in Europe, it's already new day. So when we look in um, American time about 8 o'clock or something, uh, in uh, Europe, it's already uh, could be next day or like late night. So uh, make sure that you understand that uh, these charts are for European time, for English time. So on English time, I've been looking. Um, the most movements should finish uh, at least um, if there is nothing happening in the market, like no news or something unusual. Uh, then uh, it's kind of getting quiet about six o'clock, after six o'clock, or at least after eight o'clock. So after that, we're just looking what the market looks like. And you can see like here on the 5th of uh, December, the market was already quiet. And you can see in the bottom um, here, you see that this the time shows you 11 o'clock. And now it's midnight. And after midnight, it's all quiet, quiet, quiet. And you, as you can see on 6th of December, about 3 o'clock, um, 10 past 3 in the morning, uh, European time, I made these orders. Um, so... And what happened next day? I made painting orders, of course. It's uh, buy stop and buy um, um, sell, a uh, stop sell. And um, uh, here we are, about three, uh, one o'clock, one thirty. Uh, you can see six of um, December again, six forty. Here's the candle, which took me into the trade and uh, made me profit here you can see it's 10 pips on that candle and I walked away with my 10 pips profit so you can see is I made hundred dollars but I'm telling you uh, that um, I've been uh, risking quite a lot on a thousand dollar risking 30 percent um, using one lot which is ten dollars it's a lot so please don't do it if you are not sure and uh, start with smaller lots maybe 10 cents um, but do not um, do risk too much if you don't know what you're doing if you're only starting um, i only made it because i'm sure with my strategy and i'm kind of i've been trading for quite a while so i'm kind of um, used to it you know so I, i'm kind of like seeing um, stuff which you might not see and so start with the small uh, small lots uh, please and uh, so here we are Look, you can see this this on this little candle, I made my 10 pips profit. So if I would make, if I would go for a longer profit, you can see it wouldn't work because um, here it's um, it didn't go any further, and it actually went the other way. That's why um, uh, 10 pips um, looks uh, and working quite well uh, because it wasn't. Um, sometimes it doesn't move too much, but it moves enough to make us these 10 pips. And uh, of course, um, as you can see, I'm usually about one o'clock when something happening about one o'clock, one thirty, and also three o'clock, three thirty p.m. I'm talking about. Uh, so you can see uh, at about three o'clock, three twenty-eight p.m., fifteen twenty-eight, some somewhere around here, I cancelled the other order. Um, so I just I made hundred dollars, um, which is ten pips because you can put. It just depends if you have really big account, uh, you can put uh, as many lots as you want, as wh whatever you feel comfortable uh, with. So here I, I would like to show you, um, um, here's the 5th of December, that was um, now a perfect channel, as you can see again, I've been looking at um, in the evening, so after 6 o'clock it was very quiet, I could uh, draw again my lines and nice little candles. And uh, the 5th of December was uh, exceptionally well because I actually double profited. Look, I had sell and I had buy orders. And both of them made me profit. So I have here 10 pips here and 10 pips here, which is $100 and 100 made me $200. Um, uh, because what happened? Uh, first of all, market moved up. So... Um, don't look at these lines because this is not real lines. You just look at this channel. So it's about 10 pips up, uh, 20 pips again up and 10 pips. I made profit on this candle and um, uh, I made profit on this candle. Let's just check it out again. Fifth, uh, yes, you see four o'clock in the morning, 4.37. Uh, that probably about uh, this candle actually made me profit. And the next one, it was 1.30, which is, yes, 1.30, which is... Um, uh, that one made me an hour profit. So that was just absolutely perfect situation. It's an extra 10 um, pips 
uh, that day I made um, with this strategy. And um, also, if you can see, here is the uh, 4th of December. Well, I'm just um, kind of channel is about the same as um, it was on, on the 5th December. And um, you can also see here I made um, now $100 on the 4th of December, which is um, exactly the same strategy. You can see the same, the candles. This already happened. All, all I'm going to say to you is that you should look and um, for that channel uh, in the evening, if um, um, if there is something happening before the midnight, you can have a look at wherever is at midnight, as you can see here, for example, at uh, midnight and before 5 o'clock in the morning. After 5 o'clock in the morning, I never put any trades because after 5 o'clock, even after 4 o'clock, sometimes the market moves. So usually I try to put my trades before 4 o'clock and um, uh, leave it and leave it. And we don't do it, uh, I don't do it before midnight because just in case if there is anything happens on the market, you don't really want to go in a night trade because it could be a swap, which means that brokerage might take, um, probably will take some uh, commission. So that's why um, the whole all trades are going to happen during the day. And uh, see here on uh, the 4th, again at about 1.30 something, 37, uh, on this movement, I made now 10 pips, which made me now $100 which was really wonderful so and if you would look through the you can see as i said to you check out my statement you can see that i've been trading few times uh that month in november and it's already beginning of december hopefully the december will continue that way and you can see there the um the the charts we can always find uh those um um or channels I call them channels so um, but I'm not going to look through all of them you can see again the now channel so I'm going to tell you so you would say probably the main question is when uh, you should look for those channels you have to like sit every single like um, minute or hour and watch for it no you don't you don't um, it works quite well right now when you as I said to you in the morning so we know the market uh, European market opens about eight o'clock in the morning so we looking through through the night as i said to you uh sometime midnight uh and before four o'clock in the morning and sometimes after four but no more than five o'clock in the morning that's it before five o'clock you have to either decide you are going to make trade or you're not going to make trade so we're looking for this type of um, charts you can see again if there is something like like this you can see well no that the chart you can't make chart out of this or for example like something like that but that's not um, the evening time I'm just giving you an example you must look at the straight line so once again as you can have a look the let's just move a little bit like this so you would see because it's like not if you would look it has to be like if you would draw the line in the middle uh, then uh, you can see the majority of the candles should go through that line and this is how we finding uh, the the channels. So again, before that move. So um, again, you can see you can see like the movements was two o'clock. Then it's like a countdown, and it's kind of channel. And you can see if I will like draw the line, yeah, it's the channel, kind of the channel. So we will be drawing something like that again. Look in the bodies of the candles and. The bottoms and the tops of the candles so that this is how we doing it um, so this is the big move I'm going right now to tell you so how do we look for those charts now uh, look at this um, uh, the important thing what moves the markets is the of course the news if there is nothing is there are no news the market probably will not move it will be just very slow and very calm you can watch the news you can maybe not even watch the news sometimes i don't and um, still you might go in a profit uh, in a trade so i use the calendar um, on dailyeffects.com uh, it's an economic calendar it's this economic calendar if you press on it um, it will show it will give you the um, news uh, financial news um, so here I pressed um, central bank release calendar because I want to sh uh, show you the main news where you can actually and once I'm trading 
uh, sometimes where uh, I put instead of 10 pips profit, I put about 30 pips profit. The, the main news uh, which you have to pay attention on is, is US Federal Reserve, which is FOMC. And here you can see the dates. It tells you when it's happening in the month. You can see like we had diff it's different days. And now one is European Central Bank, uh, which is also shows you when. Uh, the next one to pay attention on is um, uh, changing change in non-farm payrolls, uh, which usually happens about 1.30, but you also have to check which days it happens. So um, that was on the 8th of November last month. These are uh, big news, which uh, I usually trade um, uh, using, as I said to you, uh, when I put 30 pips uh, profit instead of 10 pips but um, sometimes when the news are not um, well let's say not very good not um, good enough to move the market so they might not move 30 pips so sometimes you kind of have to see what results um, after the news releases uh, if there are like big results like for example here you see this is what like was 163 and it's 204 of course the market is going to move a lot and that's why we would have put maybe even more than 30 pips um, let's just see um, I'm gonna show you okay let's see okay so we had um, European Central Bank it was um, 7th November just show you 7th November and the same 8th of November here's uh, here they are you see the one uses this is known farm and this was the European Central Bank and as you can see if I would um, usually when I'm waiting for such big news I would um, look at the market before the news so I would look for this channel before the news but uh, depends what time the news come out uh, if it's like a, you see about like 12 o'clock 12 uh, 45 so we would look um, at least an hour before what's the market doing but um, anyway the, this was like perfect absolutely perfect um, a straight um, channel and that uh, meant uh, when uh, the, the channel is like this that means the news is expecting to be like really big so on this trade I didn't do this trade uh, it was on 7th November I had um, I think I had just a small profit out of this. Uh, I don't remember, but I've been traveling. You know that um, th that month I was um, in Canada and I didn't catch this news. I didn't trade every day, which is like really upsetting me because it was a really good month. Honestly, November was absolutely perfect month um, for trading the system. So if I would have been trading this news, I would probably put 30 pips. Usually I just do 30 pips. But if you use, for example, like trailing stops, uh, you could have made even more uh, profit out of this movement. Uh, but also, if you are thinking for a bit bigger movements, you kind of need to kind of expect uh, when the uh, market after news, you know, it's always reverses. Uh, well, not always, but most of the time it's like you see the green. Uh, now market after it went down, it's returned. Well, here I have some uh, Fibonacci lines, which kind of would have like predicted that um, analyze it that the market would stop here but it's all different story I don't want you just uh, tell about this because you would need a little bit more um, well expertise I would say actually to analyze it when um, uh, you predicting you might predict when and you can see there's now supporting line here but it's all from my other um, channels of, of my other analyzings that's why if you do trade news you kind of need to use a little bit more um, strat like line strategies um, techniques but for 10 pips you didn't have to do it you see 10 pips you would make easily on this one it would have been perfect and also have a look at this again uh, that's a non-farm payrolls which is also uh, would have made like really good profit and also as you can see the the lines I'm using here so um, which I could have uh, go for more than 10 pips profit but also with just 10 pips system that would have work, work uh, also perfectly uh, but that's like it's a this a major news um, uh, the rest we trading um, like just normal what's the move, moving market is why uh, as I said to you for this um, 
channels we usually look uh, during the night before the European market opens and if you have a look here you you'd like understand why I'm doing this because um, you can see uh, the most news even they are not very important like low importance medium importance you can see but what when they're happening they are happening about eight o'clock uh, you see like nine ish o'clock and then after that the those news which are going after one o'clock uh, it's the American news, it's about 1.30, 3 o'clock, uh, 3 o'clock. And then, for example, again, the other day we're looking European news again in the morning, 10 o'clock. And then American news like uh, 14.45, uh, 3 o'clock. I do not trade after um, uh, 3 o'clock. I do not put any trades after 3 o'clock. Unless there are some um, news which could be... Uh, sometimes that could be the Bernanke, Bernanke um, uh, speaking and sometimes uh, that also can move the market but it's very rarely I'm using that. Uh, the main news I told you, uh, those three uh, major news, I uh, usually would go for prof uh, trade. Uh, again, for just our daily, everyday trading, we need just news, uh, just any news anything uh, again 845 you can see that the 845 nine o'clock european news most of the time happening like 10 o'clock and then again american news 12 one o'clock uh 1 30 and uh, 3 3 30. so um that's it that's why when we're going back to our uh charts we can see uh why um uh, we doing it um, through the night and uh, relying on the market moving during the day and specifically uh, those times of the day is that in the morning and uh, one thirty, roughly one o'clock after one o'clock maybe after 12 o'clock and um, after three o'clock because of all those news even though they're not important but usually they move the market enough to make us those 10 pips a day so this is how I trade. It's kind of it kind of works for me well, and I wanted to share it with you so you guys uh, can try it and see it for yourself. And as I said, you can use any brokerage you want. Just make sure they do not trade against you because if they do trade against you, you will probably not uh, make it well with this system. Uh, sometimes because again, um, well this one is kind of quite good, but sometimes the price like just. Um, a little bit goes like for example to the end uh, and it might not reach our target and if they trade against you they will not let you out of the profitable trades so you're probably going to lose um, so you kind of need to um, make sure that uh, the brokerage used does not trade against you now i want to show you uh, the real trade I, I recorded it here it is uh, that was um, uh, the 5th of december this is how it looked like that uh, chart. You see, I was looking at it, and now I'm going to show you how I actually put the trades on. Uh, because I was doing it live, I um, didn't talk. <laughs> I was just uh, concentrating on my trade, so I wouldn't make any mistake. But I'm going to explain to you what I was doing again. You see, I draw my lines, uh, channel, and 20 pips above and 20 pips below, and um, uh, the profit uh, the take profit um, and 10 pips above um, this price and 10 pips above um, this price so as you can see uh, here's what we, I'm doing it's a like painting order and uh, you can see it's um, one lot uh, I was using euro dollar and so I'm doing first of all I'm doing buy stop he's like I'm making a mistake right now that's not how you're supposed to put the price but that's why um, it's kind of important to be very attentive when you're actually doing it so here you are buy stop is i'm doing this uh three six nine uh three six nine seven nine um i'm like doing it right right at the last uh, number so it would be the same matching number might not be the same as uh, on here but it doesn't matter the important thing is this three nine uh, three six nine seven and three six seven seven and so take profit just 10 pips above three six nine seven which is three seven you can see here uh, three seven zero seven and uh, yes, I do calculate, use a calculator, even though it's just 10 pips above, 
and 30 pips below this price is a stop loss I'm going to put now. I'm like calculating it just to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes because yes, I'm not very good with numbers and sometimes sometimes I do mistakes. But um, here when you're placing the orders, you have to be sure 100% because one little mistake and uh, it could be very bad. <laughs> so I didn't want anything... Uh, um, bad happens. So uh, the second order again uh, pending order which is for uh, this and um, here is a sell stop is 3, 6, 4, 1 and uh, 4 and just 10 pips below that price. Uh, as you can see I'm yes I'm using calculator again. <laughs> it's 3, 6, 5, 1 supposed to be just checking <laughs> it's, uh, no, not 3, 6. It's the, you see, that's, that's why I have to calculate it. It's 3, 6, 4, 1 and it's below 3, 6, 3, 1. That's why I use calculator so I wouldn't make anything like this, any mistakes like that. Except if I would have put it high, it wouldn't just um, uh, place the order anyway. But um, I have to make sure. And now it's 3, 6, 4, 1 and it's 30 pips above with my stop loss. And again, as you can see, it's the one lot. And here we are. I placed um, this order, just waited, and this is it. Um, all the orders are done, and um, now I'm going to show you the result, which was um, here. Uh, I actually showed it to you already, I think it's like um, the 6th um, six of um, December. Uh, and you can see I made hundred dollars, which I made ten, ten dollars profit. Just check it out again. Yes, it was on the sixth, fifth of December already made. So yes, it was the sixth of December. In sixth of December, we can see that uh, the market moved down, and I made profit at uh, one thirty. Hundred dollar profit. So um, um, here we are, uh, and that's how the system works. Uh, and anyway, it works for me, and I hope it will work for you also. But as I said, please uh, start with smaller lots. Do not um, use one lot if you're not sure, and if your account is very small, just um, uh, use uh, so much money you feel comfortable with you feel um, you know uh, because anything can happen I cannot guarantee anything um, it's forex trading you know it's very high risk you have to understand that and never use uh, the money which are your like last money savings or something no just imagine you're going to Las Vegas you have like wherever money with you you know you're going to play casino you might win you might not so um, that's how you should think about trading forex so kind of imagine that's the money which you prepared to you know just um, to play and give away and um, hopefully you will make and you'll make quite good but this system works and uh, it works for me well and I hope it will continue working well uh, if the market would move um, kind of some any other changes or anything of course would have to do some improvements to it but um, I've been I mean uh, improvements I mean just like like maybe channels you have to look a bit different way and just to know where to draw it but this is how it works and been working for a while very well so um, here you are guys um, just give it a try just see how it uh, works for you um, don't forget about brokerage and um, if you have any questions if maybe I forgot to say something or anything I just I was trying to uh, explain it to you so you would understand um, the uh, strategy how it works but if you have any questions if you didn't understand anything or anything else uh, I'll try to help you and uh, answer all your questions so um, um, that's it uh, please subscribe and um, I see you later guys bye everyone bye